Welcome to Mario plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hell. I finished the first game a few weeks ago. Well, uh, not entirely finished, but uh, I know how the first game ends. So uh, I figured the first game I played in a while would be Sparks of Hell. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the game. You're relieved to see rabbits? When is anyone ever relieved to see rabbits? <laughs> they, they stole Mario's pants? What? Oh no, Mario's naked. Oh, rabbit Mario's naked. What? But the rabbits are always naked. Consider it done, my beloved princess. We are happy to serve. Oh no, Bebo's British. <laughs> Why is Bebo British? <laughs> The colonization of people. <laughs> hey, you. Oh god, he's... <laughs> Why does he sound like that? <laughs> oh boy. This is what happens when you have rabbits as neighbors. Yep. There they are. Rabbit Mario! I got your pants! Got you some pants for your crunch! I'm back! Oh god. I forgot how weird rabbits look with mustaches. <laughs> Side of this thing? Don't panic, Rabbit Peach. We'll just stroll casually along the back of this live creature and meet your location in no time. I guess so. Uh oh. Sorry for the most casual stroll ever, Rabbit. We're gonna have stars incoming! Evil Rabbit! Warning. Do not get caught out of the open. Move from cover to cover and remember to attack. Save the princess for a version of the princess. Oh, 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 oh,
I mean, okay, I guess. I'm just thick. Using dash, we can shut those headlight things loose once they're in your possession. You can throw them at the creature's own shaped eyeball protuberances. It is weak sauce. Yes, more power. Give Mario more power. He needs it. We'll take all the help we can get. Mario, be sure to see what this new ability of yours can do. Speaking of abilities... Remember that both of you have your signature techniques at your disposal. I have a feeling you're going to need them. Oh no! 
was a bad idea. Welcome, Mario and Rabbit Peach. It is fortunate that you are unharmed. Your safety is critical to our mission. Hey, hello. Remember me, the entity who created you? I'm alive, too. Also fortuitous, but with a critical success factor that is lower in comparison by 31.732193%. Uh, okay, nerd emoji. <laughs> Forgive Jeannie here for her arrogance, everyone. As the ship's new artificial intelligence, she just became self-aware yesterday. Uh, sure. Yeah. Obviously, I have a lot more testing to do, but seeing as how we're an emergency situation here, I, uh... Okay, Nerd Emoji 2.0. We got two Nerd Emojis in here. <laughs> hey, little fella! Interesting. It appears that this creature is equal parts rabbit and luma. It contains a massive amount of harnessable energy as a result. I don't know how how that is. Rabbits are basically just minions. But okay. I suspect there are more of them scattered throughout the galaxy, though without more data, the exact number cannot be determined. Gee, I wonder where Rosalina is. <laughs> Cursa is conquering the galaxy using a corruptive energy called Darkness. Why? Why would they just? Replace the N and darkness with an M. That's that's kind of simple. I can pinpoint the epicenter of this activity, Cursa's stronghold. It will take our ship an eternity to travel the distance between our current location and this stronghold. Is that an accurate representation of the solar system? <laughs> However, using a purified form of darkness energy, we could create a series of warp tunnels that would make such travel almost instantaneous. Just what I was about to suggest to our friend here. Hmm, what do we call your kind? Aha! How about rabid lumas? No. Just, no. <laughs> Really? Because objectively speaking, I think Rabbit Lumas is kind of perfect, no? 
Nobody asked for your opinion, Beepo. Sparks are better. Bleh. The closest planet within range is Beacon Beach. The darkness has already spread there. Not enough data to define the level of danger. Please, Genie. Adventure may be new to you, but not to us. I expect the level of difficulty of this mission to be... Enough of your mansplaining, Beepo. Listen, now that Cassa knows they're with us, I bet it will never bother us again. Also not good for me. I think that's going to be it for the street, uh, the video today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will be back for another video tomorrow. So, as always, take care of yourselves and stay frosty. Goodbye! <laughs>